Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising monthly tarot reading for December 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, in this video I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as this is a month of celebrations uh, there is a Christmas sale going on which simply abates uh, the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, live reading with me and uh, finally if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month uh, there are also I, an extended monthly tower readings on the website in which you can take a participation for just $1.49 per video and in one video there will be a, a two spreads discussing the uh, specifically career and relationship for the representative star sign in this case Leo so let's see what you have to deal with throughout uh, this specific month. <clears throat> now the first card is about the topic of your month and here what we do have that is to be the seven of, uh, of pentacles. <clears throat> so the seven of pentacles it's um, usually taken as a card of a uh, retrospection in the sense of the um, kind of analyzing uh, are we are getting as much as you are giving or are we are uh, giving as much as we are getting because it, it could it could come both ways and generally this card plays out as uh, one is uh, putting on how their activities just so one can reach the conclusion of that very very important matter uh, just to to make an uh, example here in regards to a uh, relationships it could be a realization that you are the only one who is fighting for the relationship or you may realize that your partner is the only one who fights for the relationship and you are completely indifferent how it's going to go forward you know it could go both ways same goes for your career so what we do have here throughout this uh, specific month is that <clears throat> it will be important for you Leos to kind of take it a little bit more easy than uh, than usual because the seven of pentacles also may indicate that a, a important matter or an, an important event uh, it is waiting just around the corner which event is going to give you a, a clue which direction you should proceed on moving forward and uh, which is the thing that it will be actually most beneficial for you so that being said this is going to be rather more peaceful and calm month uh, than usual not dappled that much with activities as you probably are used to but in the same time is going to be a month uh, that involves uh, rather um, balancing uh, one's uh, giveaways or rather like one's giving in regards to what one takes in return from it the next card here it is uh, the card that points to the um, intentions or the best possible course of action and a five of swords does not really fit in the grand scheme of things as a follow-up to the seven of uh, pentacles uh, in general reading apart unless it does not regards to our own personal limitations and that completely fits here so uh, this is a card more like a, a warning of what you should do telling you that you should not exceed your personal limitations in a sense of that you should not give a promise that you are not a hundred percent sure that you can keep up to it uh, you should not involve yourself into activities and projects that you are not a hundred percent um aware of what you need to do in there uh, in there in other words you should not jump clueless into a activity just for the sake of the activity itself same thing goes for your relationships here you know i mean you should know how much uh, how big potential or rather be accurate about uh, how big potential that relationship has at this very moment and do not rather expect or demand 
things that cannot be actually given or achieved throughout this specific month. So this card only asks you to be objective. Otherwise, it could traverse this specific month could traverse into a very reckless and uh, ruthless drive uh, from your behalf, which is going to kind of I cannot say really destroy, but um, damage a lot of sides in your life, like damage relationships, uh, damage a certain involvement into projects, and etc. etc. So, uh, only thing that we can say as a conclusion of these couple of cards is that you have to be very careful uh, when you jump into new iron current activities, and you need to know, you know, how well you fit in them and how where your personal limits and capabilities are allowing you to go forth with and you should not abuse that specific state the next card which represents the uh, challenges that are causing predicaments we do have most likely a, a person here with the page of swords someone irritating and aggravating a person who always is opposing to no matter what kind of a statement is given to them so that will be uh, most likely someone who always is, ca is countering your opinions your ideas and in general your statements <clears throat> it is unlikely that that could be, you know, a partner in relationship or a faithful co-workers. It does look like more like some of uh, some of uh, the uh, in exterior, excuse me, of the per uh, of the peripheral environment of your uh, of your undertakings. Uh, a jealous co-worker who does not have direct involvement into your. Um, uh, into your projects but in the same time is taunting you to do reckless things so you can fail and so they can mock you afterwards you know or a, a jealous friend into your social circle uh, wanting to see you failing into your relationship because they don't want to see you with that girlfriend or with that boyfriend and etc etc the thing here is is that we do have a person Leo that is gonna taunt you to go and jump into wrangles with them and pointless arguments which are going to serve you no benefit whatsoever therefore it will be important how to overcome this thing is that you need to tame your temper just don't uh, how can I place it um, don't exert your readiness for war just so there is a, a prerequisite for it a, a small one because it's going to appear itself as a trifle anyway and you can simply ignore it instead of you know instead of just it's not even just but um, instead of putting in an opposition into something that is completely meaningless to your future performance just for example you know someone taunts you to be a little bit more rough and uh, independent seemingly with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend here and in result you are, you are end up acting rude against them against your girlfriend or a boyfriend which kind of like deteriorates the uh, states of your relationship and of course you have a choice here not to answer that specific call you know and that specific taunt uh, knowing the true value of your relationship or of your project something similar like this like this so be uh be mindful and careful here throughout the month not to fall in a, a trap of meaningless taunting from a, a people that are simply jealous to your current state and the next one that will be the guidance <clears throat> of this month we do have another sword card and that will be the seven of sword so uh, the seven of sword so the guidance uh, simply puts you in a state where you need to know how big value your possessions has and you should not give up on anything that you currently have into your uh, interior like you should not give up on your relationship and yet like you should not give up on your um uh, on your career and projects no matter how tough it seems for you to sustain those things now the thing with the seven of swords is that when it comes to a guidance it guides you or rather asks you to be ready for to storm the situation forward which again gives a, a clue that there won't 
the, the, this month is not going to go without any confrontations here. There will be a confrontations and most likely you will have to, you know, prove your self-righteousness. You will have to prove, you know, the core of your ideas that they have the, the necessary uh, arguments and determinations behind them. <clears throat> You know, and that is also you can uh, proceed on forward uh, independent uh, with your with your undertakings, with your relationship, or with um, with your career. So the way I see it here, guys, just from these four cards, without even turning around the um, uh, the final outcome card, is that throughout this month of December you Leos are going to be tested your ideas are going to be put into question uh, not necessarily with the right uh, with the right arguments but in the same time this questioning of uh, your actions and of your ideas and in general of your standpoints are going to really scrape down your nerves and are going to make you feel uh, uh, and are going to make you feel uh, not feel but act excuse me careless and through that careless uh, carelessness uh, maybe people are to find cracks into your defense and they will have leverage upon you so that's why the first card here reminds you to be uh, calm and steady and to think first before you act analyzing how much you are to give in how much you are to get in return because we are seeing here that those confrontations will not benefit you at all even if you end up victorious into them it's simply they have no point whatsoever and it doesn't make any sense to be involved in at all and that's why you need to know where your limitations lies and uh, the final outcome of the month here, that will be the Ten of Swords. So with that specific follow-up, the Ten of Swords points that you are to uh, basically make something like a spring cleaning. Uh, I like to use that term. It is where one liberates themselves from outdated friends, from outdated activities, outdated relationships as well. Simply where one is determined to make a retrospection of their life until now, analyze what really works for them and doesn't, and afterwards do the necessary irrevocable uh, decisions and irreversible actions in order to force a, a new era in their life. It is it, you can you can really look at it kind of like uh, someone is slaying the evil that kind of plays roots into their environment so it all comes to that you know building up that specific tension here and hints so you can realize what really is the um noxious and nause and nauseated um cancer in your environment so you can uh, surgically operate it and under surgically operate it I mean to really confront it and show that you are much stronger and determined than they thought you are that they or that specific uh, you know activity thought you are and to show them that you can't put success, successful defense and you can live without them. And especially if that is a, a someone that kind of threatens you in a certain way, uh, because the best way that you can make a revenge upon people who wanted to do you harm is to show them that life can go without them. So that being said, Leo, this was your uh, monthly general tarot reading for December 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Leo star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.